think that has been a really useful conversation just now. Um, although I, I think we're still talking about it in terms of, I mean, saying that people get off scot-free, you know, that there'd be a sense in the public, I, I don't mean mm. that you saying mm. it, yeah, yeah, yeah. that there'd be a sense in the public that diversion means that people are getting off scot-free for hurting themselves. <laughs> it just seems crazy. And I, I, I do want to pick up, and I know he's mm. left, uh, he's coming back in a minute, um, Deputy McAuliffe, kind of characterised there the difficulty of some of us in, in dealing with this and you talked about the, the fact that we're very much looking at decriminalisation and diversion but for some of us and I, I think it's good to have clarity here um, I, I think that we're, we have a shadow economy um, and effectively we have a, a, a wild west prohibition has, has brought about a wild west and, and the, the victims in that are usually young people who live in my constituency um, for example, and uh, are, are completely victims to a system that, that doesn't serve them at all. And I, for me personally as a legislator, legalisation is absolutely still on the table and it, it'll be st something that some of us will continue to argue very strongly for because I believe without full regulation that we'll never move away. You know, it'll always be course of sanctions. There will, there will, there will never, we will never really see you know, full use of consumption rooms, for example, or, or the full pickup of every person who needs a safety net, a social safety net and a health safety net without full regulation of the commonly used drugs mm. that we see that are currently illegal. So um, I, I, I think for some of us, it's not quite as clear as, um, you know, being in a difficult space around that issue.